Rigging Operations This illustration shows the precautions for rigging operations. Always use a double sling for suspended loads. With a single sling, there is a danger of upsetting the balance of the load or of the load slipping down. When lifting a load, stop at a height of 30 cm to 50 cm and check for stability after leaving the ground. A load that appears stable on the ground may unexpectedly change direction once it leaves the ground. This is a particular danger when lifting diagonally. Loads can also be blown around by the wind. Use a tag line on the load to prevent it from swinging. Key safety points Do you avoid using damaged wire? Do the corners of loads have sling protection? Are riggers appropriately licensed? Is the angle of the sling 60 degrees or less? Are loads hauled with more than one sling? Are tag lines used for long loads? Are operators stopping loads just after leaving the ground to check the stability? Is work performed under the direction of a rigger chief? With a single sling, a suspended load can easily become unstable. So a single sling is forbidden in principle. When it is unavoidable, fold a single sling in half. Use a tag line to prevent a load from swinging. The double wrap basket hitch is a method of wrapping the wire rope sling completely around a load once. It is the most effective way to prevent the force being drawn inward and is best for long loads in particular. Ensure that the wire rope sling does not overlap at the double wrap basket hitch. The choker hitch is a way of hitching a load in a noose with a wire rope sling. The hitching of the suspended load increases friction, which makes it possible to prevent the slipping of the load and the wire. Care is required in the case of a tight hitch because the life of the wire can be shortened due to decreased strength and distortion, etc. As great tension is applied to the wire at the hitch point. A hakama, which is a slinging bag, is convenient for lifting long loads in confined spaces. It is important to cross the wire ropes in the center underneath the load. In addition, Select the rigging equipment on the assumption that approximately twice the normal tension will act on the intersection of the wire rope slings. A wire net is used when slinging a number of small materials and when transporting materials that are difficult to sling, such as circular materials and materials without a point of suspension. Take care not to overload the wire net so the load does not fall out during transportation. In addition, ensure that the load does not fall out through the mesh of the net by putting small items into bags, etc. Inspect and repair rigging equipment such as wire ropes. Do not use the rigging equipment below.
Wire ropes in which 10% or more of the wires in a single strand are cut. Wire ropes in which the diameter is 7% smaller, or more, than usual. Wire ropes with kinks. Wire ropes that are corroded or badly marked. Wire ropes with damaged eye splices. Deformed or cracked shackles and clips. Chain that has stretched 5% or more from the original length at the time of manufacture.